Hey guys, how you doing today? I'm bringing another diecast video from Diecast Plus. Now today we're going to be doing the review of the 118 scale 1956 Ford F100 tow truck made by Welly. Now this particular model, it only comes in one color. It is a blue, purple, not exactly sure on the color. The black secondary color, the red interior. Let's hop right on into the details. Suspension. There's only suspension in the back of the truck. Which is a little odd, but it's there, which is the main point, and there's none up front. Wheels and tires. The wheels, I do like how you can see the little slits through all f six roads, actually a dually. You can see through the little slits in the wheel, but the Ford hubcap, I don't like how it doesn't say Ford on it. It's just a little line across it. Tires are realistic and made of rubber. Which is a nice detail as you see it is a dually now gaps the gaps are good on this model there's no giant differences there are little differences between that side of the hood and that side you see the doors are all lined perfect well is a very good company in their quality control even though they are mostly mass produced. The chrome and paint have held up well over the years. You see all the chrome still shines to perfection. Same goes for the paint. With no major, you can't tell any fading or paint rash. Let's go on into the interior. The doors are very well made. As you see, it's nice it's nice and tough to open. It doesn't really fit. As you see, interior, it's all plastic. But it does have good coloring. The gauges, as you can focus. Yeah, the gauges there are decal and slightly unrealistic, but they're there. The flooring is just a plastic mat showing where it would be. Overall, not terrible, considering this is a budget truck. Now, for the back, the towing part, it does work. As I, I have it in the upright position right now, as it normally comes. All the string, it's correct string. And this, all the booms and the towing part are all metal, which is nice. All die cast metal. They're not plastic, which on most tow trucks they are. And it's, sub it's a substantial model. Now here's a part that I really don't like about the Welly. The engine compartment. So you see, it's a, you can tell it's a flathead Ford, but it looks like a modern crate motor with fuel injection. But it has a carburetor on top because it's just essentially flat. It has no depth to it. And you can't see through the floor. It's just plastic. I do like that there is coloring, but again, it looks like a crate motor. It doesn't look realistic for the time period of 1956 flathead fours. But overall, not terrible. Yeah, even though some of the Maestos have all the way through, but don't have color. So, let's take a look on the undercarriage. The underside, you do see that the engine is there. It looks like it's there, but it's just a piece that's glued on because in the you can't see through, which is a little annoying. But it does give good color. The dry shaft is black, and you can tell the differential. Spare tire with the hubcap, which is nice, and has a real rubber tire. Has the suspension. It's overall not terrible. It is a budget car, so not bad. It does have a production date on it too, which is a nice feature to see when your model's actually made. Now, budget, uh, pricing, and recommendation. Recommend pricing. So you can find this car truck for around forty dollars, up to sixty. It depends on where you're looking to buy it from. Or, you know, because I found it for 60 at an auto show. So, I'd, and I'll make a video about auto show and normal buying later on. But, as you see, it can be a range of pricing. I would 
rather it's better to buy at the forty dollar mark considering that it only has the does you can't see all the way through the engine and there's all the little details I think they skimped on to save on budget because the the boom on the toe is all metal and that normally is plastic and like the wheels how the hubcaps just have a line on it so I think they skimped on some parts but went above and beyond on others like the decals and the towing rigging recommendations I would recommend this to the beginners looking to add something diverse to their collection because it's something unique that most people don't have and other I do realize other companies make um, diecast tow trucks but this one I just stumbled upon and it's a nice addition to anyone's collection something that changes up your collection adds something diverse in it and it makes your collection look stand out and look unique alright guys thanks for tuning in and tune in next time for the night next diecast video